With no Pokemon game in sight for at least another year, I decided to put together a list of five games that I think could potentially scratch that Pokemon itch. So here we go. At number five, I put Moss Ranchers DX. Uh, this is a combination of Moss Rancher 1 and Moss Rancher 2 from the PlayStation. You, uh, you play as a unnamed protagonist uh, who is assisted by a <clears throat> monster breeder named Colt. Uh, the two of you raise a monster together to face off in tournaments. The, but that, that's where the similarities unfortunately end with a Pokemon game, which is why I placed it at five. Uh, the combat's uh, very much different than a traditional uh, turn-based RPG. Uh, the combat is, it's kind of like a action combat where you, you move your monster away or toward the opponent monster you choose your choose your move attack but uh yeah it's a it's a fairly fairly decent game and you get both of them uh it's 29.99 usd and then going on to number four number four is shimagami tensei 5. Uh, i placed this at number four um <clears throat> mostly because it's a more of a mature game so the majority of the I wouldn't say majority, but a, a good portion of the Pokemon player base uh, would be younger audience, so this would not be a game for them. Uh, however, it does have a lot of mechanical similarities to a Pokemon game. Uh, however, you uh, get demons, combine demons together, you explore. It's uh, The gameplay is fantastic. Uh, I myself, unfortunately, haven't beat it. Uh, maybe one, one of these days I'll pick it up and finish it off. But it's a very lengthy game, very grindy, uh, but the mechan mechanics are good, very difficult. That's also another reason why I put it as 4, because Pokemon, Pokemon fans might not be looking for the most difficult game. I mean, they play Pokemon games. Uh, so anyways, um, and sorry, 59 USD. Uh, however, uh, if you find it physically, at least in Canada, it, it is only around $30 most places. I've seen it at Best Buy. Uh, you know on Amazon so it uh, it is a little cheaper and and the new version of it vengeance is coming out later this year as well anyways on to number three uh, which I placed for number three is uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth complete edition uh, anyone who's a fan of Digimon which a chunk of the Pokemon fans are so they probably already played this game and they probably already you know would suggest this game but it is a uh, Probably the second closest to an actual Pokemon game on this, where you have your Sephir. However, this is done in teams of three for combat, so you have three. Uh, you can also switch, well, I guess you could do that in a Pokemon game, but yeah, you can switch out different Digimon at any point in your team of three. So keeping uh, certain ones on you is, it can be pretty crucial in sometimes, uh, especially when there's like a rock, paper, scissors with the data vaccine and virus types. But, so this is another uh, bundle of two games, because you get uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth and Digimon uh, Hacker Memory. Uh, anyway, so uh, they're priced at, unfortunately, $49.99 USD. And However, they do go on sale quite often. I'm going to say probably at least once a month, you'll find this collection on sale for like 70, 80% off. To number two. Uh, and number two is World of Final Fantasy Maxima. Uh, I love this game. It was super neat going around as chibi little characters. Um, I, mean, I guess you can grow as well. But uh, the interaction with the little chibi Final Fantasy characters and all the fun little monsters that you can, Final Fantasy monsters that you turn into your pets and you battle with, uh, it was great. It was like the perfect combination of a Final Fantasy and a Pokemon game. Uh, I might have liked it a little more because I was a fan of both. A lot of Final Fantasy fans, from my understanding, don't really enjoy this game. And that's uh, why I would probably recommend it to a Pokemon fan more. And it might even bring them into the Final Fantasy franchise. But yeah, this thing would this game would definitely cure that Pokemon itch uh, with a better story than what you're used to in a Pokemon game. And then the difficulty level is a little higher. And onwards to my number one pick for that game to cure that Pokemon itch. Uh, Monster Hunter Stories 2. Uh, 
this it hits all the right tones i think with a little extra change in, in between there uh because it gives you that repetitive loop that pokemon gives you for like just looking for stuff with the ability to hunt down different monsters for different items materials which like that's a big thing in the pokemon community is hunting for stuff you know shinies whatever have you like there's people that collect all the letters of the unknowns uh, but this game, it gives you that in spades on top of having a monster capture formula. Like you, you don't catch them in combat. You, you know, you find them and I believe you put down something in their nest. And then after you battle them, they, or, you know, you got eggs, you got eggs and hatched eggs. That's what it was. You got eggs and hatched eggs. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this, this game was great. And uh, if you love Pokemon, you'll love this game. Especially with the first one coming out to the Switch later this year as well. As a little honorable mention. Uh, anyways, uh, so that is currently $39.99 USD. However, much like the, uh, the two above. Like all three, of, three, two, and one. All three games in those sections. They go on sale quite often. For like big sales. Like 50% off or more. So it's pretty pretty decent for you to get it for a good price uh i would i would keep an eye out if you haven't played these games give them a try they're uh i'm gonna say they're, they're monster capture staples anyways uh thanks for watching the video and uh have a great day we'll see you on the next one take care